This video is sponsored by Bright Sellers. More about them at the end of the sketch. Hi there, hello. So listen, I have a proposal for you. Oh, I'm actually already engaged. I guess I could see if I could get out of it, though. No, I'm actually not interested in marrying you. You see that guy over there standing there all stupid and ugly and dumb and stupid? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, listen, I think if you want to marry him, you're gonna have to be a bit nicer. No, I don't want to marry anybody. See, the thing about that guy is that he's the worst and I hate him with a deep passion and his existence is inconvenient for me and I don't, I don't even like him. Oh, my God. Well, I guess you should avoid him for sure then. Yeah, that's not enough for me, I decided. Well, I mean, that's pretty much your only option here. Or is it? Yeah. No, see, what I was thinking was, what if I give you some money? I don't think that's gonna help with the situation you've described, but I'm definitely willing to try that strategy. Well, no, see, actually, there's more to the plan. See, what if I give you money and then you, you make him go away. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want him to be around anymore. Exactly. So I'd take your money, I'd go over there, and I'd help him get a plane ticket. Nope. Like a travel agent situation. Not a travel agent. No, you're not understanding the situation. What I want is for that guy to not be an alive person anymore. Oh, well listen, good news. Everybody stops being an alive person eventually. Yeah, but I would like that to happen for this particular person sooner rather than later. Well, let me ask you something. Have you tried wishing. I have. Did it work? No, it did. He's still right over there. It didn't work. Oh yeah, he sure is. Look at that. So what I would like to do is to give you some money. Yeah, okay. And in exchange, you do something terrible to that guy so he stops being an alive person faster than maybe he would have without intervention. Oh, you want a murder to be done on him. Yeah, but I don't want to do the murder myself because everybody knows how much I hate that guy. I've been yelling about it, like loud. So you want to give me some money to go do a murder on that guy. Yeah, like see, this is a job that I would hire you for. Yeah, 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 like a job you'd hire me for. So how does that work for tax purposes? It doesn't. It's like a secret. Oh, fun. So you're on board? Sure. I mean, I do like being given money. All right. Well, yeah, go ahead. On it. Hi there. Hello. So hey, guess what? What? Somebody doesn't want you to be alive anymore, they decided. Oh. Don't tell him. Oh, well, I already did that. So anyway, they paid me to make sure that happens to you and fast. Oh, so you're gonna do a murder on me? Yeah, I'm gonna do a murder on you and I'm gonna get some money for having done that. Okay, okay. I should say I don't think you're allowed to do murders on people. Let me just, I'm just gonna call the police and check. Oh, okay. He's gonna call the police. Well, don't let him. Gotcha. Hey, could you not call the police? Could you not do a murder? Murder on me? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Good news, he's not gonna call them. Okay, great. So do the murder on him. Oh, I can't. That was part of the deal I just made with him. But you and I had a deal. Oh, uh, yeah, he has a point. I already have a deal with him. Okay, so then I'll call the police. That's fair. No. Hi there. Hello, it's me. I'm the police. Yeah, hi there. Hello. There's a guy here and he wants to do a murder on me. Oh, no, 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 no. That won't do. We don't like people doing murders on each other, we decided. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, thanks. Bye. I got a big mustache and, uh, yeah. A pretty cool hat. Sounds very cool. Okay, bye. So yeah, I confirmed. You're not allowed to do this. Oh, okay. Good to know. Turns out I'm not allowed. Yeah, I know, but I'll give you money if you do it anyway. That's the whole premise of this job. Oh, sneaky. Okay, I finally understand the assignment. Are you gonna do it? Well, it's 5.01 p.m. The workday's over. Oh my god. Hi there, hello, it's me, I'm the astronaut. I'm out here in ad space to talk to you about Bright Cellars. Listen, I don't know a lot about wine at all, so when my cousin Kyle talks to me about wine, I feel uncomfortable. He'll say stuff like, this is a full-bodied red, and this is grape juice, astronaut. Why'd you bring grape juice to this wine and cheese party? It makes me feel inadequate, because I don't know how to choose a good wine. I never learned that skill, Kyle. Luckily, Bright Cellars can help with that. Bright Cellars is a monthly wine subscription for adults 21 and over in the US. It uses a seven question quiz to match to wines based on your tastes. Look at that, just click some pictures. Bing, bang, bing, bang, boom. In fact, if you get a bottle you don't love, they'll send you a replacement bottle in your next box. Okay, so now you have some delicious wines and you're sure you haven't accidentally purchased grape juice boxes made for children. But now how are you supposed to hold a conversation with Kyle about them? Well, luckily each Bright Cellars box comes with wine education cards for each bottle that gives you a bunch of information like tasting notes, suggested pairings, and more. And hey, Bright Cellars is giving my followers an exclusive 60% off their first four boxes bottle box plus a bonus bottle. That's five bottles for $38. That's a crazy value. Just click the link below to take the quiz and get started all while supporting this channel. That'll show cousin Kyle. That'll show him. <laughs> <laughs>